What up, world? Welcome to another episode of the Whiskey and Wade Show with me, your host, Tommy Mack. And me, your batter host, Terry McKenna. And we're on episode 80. 80? Yep. 80. Getting, getting old. You know what I mean? So, sure, there are lots. You know, people say if you get past 10, you're flying. You get past 20. You're in it for life. So looks like we're in it for the long haul. Fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking to pack this in. <laughs> but, I'm actually uh, surprised people are still listening to us at 80, 80 episodes deep. 80. And we still have shit to talk about. Well, we're on the scene. We're on the scene. If we're, we're not harmless. We have to be on the scene to give <laughs> you more content. Even you, we're meant to be slowing down and live. I know. But now we're under more pressure to do stuff. I'm, but, a, I'm trying to be a hermit. And I'm uh-huh. like, I I'm dragging my, them everywhere. I said, my ears go, nah, I can't. I need, I need some content for the for the podcast and then I go out. That's, these are guys are my main reason for leaving the house. Yeah. yeah blame, blame the public. <laughs> Not sick. But anywho, sponsoring this week's episode is KMC Fanson. Mm. Now, KMC Fanson specializes in all types of fences. You know, wooden fencing, security fencing, component fencing, con. How do you say it? Composite. Uh, composite. 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 Composite fencing. <laughs> and security fencing all over the north in the Republic of Ireland. So, and the oh, website. Oh. If. You need someone to paint as well. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy's no, an I'm, expert in painting fences. I've painted many of fence <laughs> over COVID. So get the Emmons, get on the kmcfencing.co.uk, get the fence put up, and then just send me a wee message on Instagram. <laughs> and I'll, I'll paint it for you. So yeah, all your fencing needs. We also have another sponsor for this episode, and it is the Foggy Brew. What a name. What a Foggy name. Brew. Love it. Get all your foggy brew needs. Yeah. Coffees, cappuccinos, frappuccinos. Oh, yeah. Hot chocolates. Do they have hot chocolates, Tommy? You better believe it. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe it. Listen. So like the foggy brew, right? It's a local brotherly owned Belfast coffee house. Mm. You know, it's keeping it in Where the is family. it? And it's it's one of the last in the city centre. Okay. So uh, right established in 2019. It is the best coffee in Belfast with a unique Locally sourced menu, ready to make or ready to take on the big chains. The legs are the ones that Tyrone hates, mm. who shall not be named on here. Let's boycott them ones, go so, to Foggy Brew. Foggy Brew all day. We've got coffee, tea, breakfast, lunch, sitting, and takeaway. <laughs> Monthly music, arts, and comedy events, out, and outside catering. So it's, it's a one stop shop for it all. So we've one down in Barry Street, isn't it? Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Foggy bruisey. Yeah, you'll see you'll Cracker. see you'll see me and Tommy here sipping our coffees. Give me a double Hot chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Double chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I filmed a wee promo in there before for, Did for, for like um for the group. Oh. No, it's cracking my spot. And then finally So we've got a sponsor for this month. Yep. So you make it sick of us here. Make it sick here and us talk about it all mm. month. But that's not gonna stop us. Baps. Baps. Tommy's favorite word, Bops. Yeah, I'm a Bops. Bab lover. <laughs> <laughs> Who don't love the Bops? Well, Bops is the cream of the crop when it comes yes. to the smash burgers. But I actually had Bops once before. They text me. I went to the trade market. That's where they are, trade market. Yep. I went to the trade market. They text me, here, don't try out our uh, burgers. And I was like, 100% been wanting to try this place for ages. Went up. Order food is me and the bar in law, Chris. Shout out, Chris. It wasn't me, any. <laughs> of course, it wasn't me. <laughs> but we were in, we were getting burgers. And I said, right, I go up and get them. And I uh, ordered my burgers, ordered fries. And they were like, ah, oh, great to have you down, all this shit. Being a legend, give me for free. And while I was walking away for a full tray of loads of food, I fell. Ah, oh, jeez. Food went everywhere. But no, they didn't see it. And I went, I can hardly go up and ask for more free f- fucking food. Well, it's, you're not. I just had to drop them a tray, lads. I just scraped. I didn't even tell Chris. Scraped the back. <laughs> <laughs> Sat down. I munched that thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Stones and all. <laughs> tables and all. And it was still, oh. and here, it was still great. So, Bob, share it. Yeah, share it, Bob. But Lord, I cannot wait for you to get the medication because this has to stop. <laughs> this has to stop. A bunch uh, of people in the comments don't want to see Toronto. I've the seen medication. that. He can't be eating his baps, friggin' off the, the stone. You know what I mean? 
Picking up all the tips and blasting them. There, there is Call a kiss that the devil missed it. <laughs> but here, Sherry Bob's get the Bob's. Yes, make sure you get that. Unbelievable <laughs> place, even if they're off the ground. So good, Eddie, they're off the ground. And that's a fact. <laughs> but uh, that was great. <laughs> but a lot of people, as, as Sean said, are, are against the, 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 the treatment. The treatment. Well, they're saying, I'm gonna, it's going to ruin me. It's all a hoax. It's it's all a hoax. You know, like I, and I said this last week. I want you to have a wee trial period. Yeah. If I feel it's in you too much, yeah. I'm taking them That's off. That's what I want. I want the wee trial. A lot of people are saying, don't begin on Ritalin, I think it was. Ritalin? Uh, it's more or less a, a soft cocaine that they give you. And they said that fucks you up, so don't get on that. Get on the other stuff. But, uh, You're going straight in the dollar. Yeah, the Lord had Ritalin. <laughs> <laughs> no. We don't condone drugs in this. It's, uh, what do you mean? You're, you're saying that they get the drugs? <laughs> but, I want to see how you are on them. People are saying me, uh, they get mushrooms instead. Get get the the uh, microdosing. I don't know. Apparently, I don't that's know. A, that works a treat for anxiety. I, but anyway. I don't trust you being a microdoser because I think you're going to go <laughs> mega doser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see what the crack is. It's this Thursday is my big meeting. So. Yeah. By the time this is out, we'll know what he's on. What I'm on, huh? Well, you, you can check my Instagram and check it out. But there's a big news this week. Tommy went to his first rave. He's raving to the Ooh. grave now. Um, we, well, I, my brother. <laughs> right, <go ahead. laughs> my brother, Cool Boy Calm, or as everyone else knows him, DJ Sturge, was a player. Isn't that your actual brother? Is your brother in law? Brother, brother in law, same thing. He's not, even, just he's not even my brother-in-law, technically. If you want to get is technical, it? no. It's sister-in-law, and then that's her husband. Is your sister-in-law's husband not your brother-in-law? I don't think so. But what was that? A lot of people slobber to me oh, when I right. pick up my brother-in-law, but Chris or Colin is slobber. Like, he's not your fucking brother, so he mustn't be. But anyway, he was DJing at it, so I was always going as like, fuck it. Um, bought two tickets. Never in my life did I think Tommy was going to be the other ticket. But, uh... I bought some tickets <laughs> on the chance Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> on the off chance that that some would go with me and I and no one was going and then we went this burger challenge um the other the other week. Last week yeah. And Richie Blacker, who was headlining the, the, the show, was there doing the challenge as well. And I was like, Well, I'm going to the show on Saturday. Tommy's going as well, aren't you? And Tommy's put on the spot right in front of everyone. I, <laughs> I, I, I am going. Like, happy, forward, huh? happy days, and then on the lead up to the the, the reef, there were just telltale signs that Tommy was going to pull a move. There were just we I I I <laughs> do you know emojis when I was saying about it, and, and like, oh, what time's it on? Where's this place? And what's the closest bar? Yeah. Like, this guy is going to pull a move, so I, I had was to pull trying a move so myself. hard to the 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 think of it. Out. I didn't realize I had bought tickets. Yeah. I had already paid and bought for these tickets. So I said, Tommy, we have bought these tickets for us. You can't pull out. And uh, he's like, why are you only telling me now? And I said, because I know you're going to pull out, you <laughs> bastard. And uh, he didn't. And then, do you know, like, even as well in the run up, I was saying, Tony, I need more information. Where's the poster? Oh, no, no. <laughs> this is what's unbelievable. Tommy gets, gets his hands on the poster and it says Plan B on it. The, the venue's called Plan B. Or the, well, I don't the know. Call, didn't know the night's called Plan B. <laughs> he's telling everyone Plan B's going to be there rapping. <laughs> <laughs> I actually started getting excited. I said, it's one Plan B. Do you know, I've been trying to see Plan B for years. <laughs> and it's something that's always gotten away. So a, it. What a random venue Plan B oh. was playing at. Bring your own drink. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fuck, but we went and it was a great night. Yeah, I actually enjoyed it more than I thought. You know, I can actually finally see why people love mm. raving. Because I used to go, how did people even go there and listen to that? Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. That doof, doof. And I, you know what I mean? But see, when I went, it's not even about the music. It's just about the, the vibrations. Yeah. Everyone's everyone's loving life. Everyone's, there's no animations. There's no, it's, everyone's so nice. And it's, there were saying as fuck leaders, like, there's 10 guys standing there. And then people come up and talking for a good five, six minutes, and then I go, What's your name, mate? And yeah. I'd be like, I don't even know me. Scoop Vibes only. And this wee venue, there was no bouncers, 
like Tron said, it was bring your own, there was no bar. Mm. And then there was drinks around. People were giving me drink. Like, it was like a wee church one. It was a, a Masonic Hall. Yeah, Masonic Hall. So it's so random. Yeah. But and it I, was it was so good. Me and Tommy, do you know what made it good as well? Me and Tommy had zero an inhibitions about it or expectations, sorry, yeah. about it. And uh when we got there it was it was it was off a charge. Off that charge. It, it was fucking. And you know what? It was like it was a successful night as well mm. because we went didn't get absolutely snothered. Yeah. yeah, I like to clarify that a lot of people came up to me on that night saying, Sure this isn't a christening. Sure this yeah. isn't a christening. And I went, Whoa. A lot of people a lot of people rating, they're rating, they're rating it all. Well, and Tony it's, made a big statement. Well, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna Did clarify even that weekend. <laughs> I'm gonna clarify a couple of things. First of all, it was a special occasion. Yeah, okay. My brother in law was DJ. And it was Tommy's first rave. Yeah, so was, And secondly that's, as, that's the fourth is the fourth thing. Tommy just clarified. We didn't get drunk. We literally no, no, I we played, was drunk. I we played was drunk. a blinder. I was drunk, like, but I wasn't snapped. You know what I mean? So we got we got we carried, mm. and we didn't we didn't get loads in case we we're gonna leave. We're like, let's yeah. have enough to do, <laughs> and then hopefully when we're done, we'll go all right. This is shit, and leave. Yeah, then. we did. We're on the boat. We're on the boat. <laughs> we but thought, it was for the best. We thought we did. We thought we only bought four cans. Uh, a dragon suit we're like I'll do this and then once I stumble just split because we're not in the rave at all we never as I said didn't have expectations got there we should have brought a fucking double amount to drink no next time we'll be getting a big later of vodka <laughs> <laughs> but no. uh, and then we ran into that shout out I forget her name what's her name she's a legend she her boyfriend uh, came up this Katie Katie. So Neil, her husband, Neil. Neil. Is it her husband? I don't know. Boyfriend well, and husband. Yeah. Came up and was difference. like, lads, lads, my missus saying, I'm not going out. Couldn't be fucked and all this shit. Can I get a picture of you? She, she loves a podcast. Got a picture of us. We had 10 minutes. Katie was around raving uh -huh. to the grave. What a legend. <laughs> yep. And Katie, is that actually the reason why we don't have a guest? She says, mm. don't be getting any more guests, lads. It's better when it's just two Yeah, so loose. So now, I f I found a, a lot of people controversial. A lot of people saying they prefer the solo shows. I prefer doing the solo ones because guest ones feel more interview. Yeah, I feel like there's more pressure on them. Like see today, I thought we're we're getting Richie Richie Blacker on next week, but I thought it was this week. I was I woke up this morning about nine. I went straight on was fucking researching. Like there's a lot of pressure, but when you got a guest on. I was researching it's all sorts. Really, like, and then Tommy. You just have pressure everywhere. But you don't mm. have pressure, that's the thing. You just want to turn up with no script, no plan. Mm. Who I mean, the fuck does that? Everyone who no doesn't one does have that. ADHD. No one does that. You think ADHD is contagious? Uh, yeah, well, it was. Oh, I spent one day with you, and next thing I started getting anxiety. I don't know. Maybe you got was going to a formal. I went up to the house. I started <laughs> feeling the walls are closing in on me. <laughs> <laughs> they're selling away for you. Like, Why are you leaving me? She was like, literally, from here to the camera way, taking photos of her dog. <laughs> Why are you leaving me on my own? <laughs> really? Oh, I panicked. Why? Didn't have a red line on me. <laughs> <laughs> was that a weird feeling? Or going to the formal? What? Well, it, 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 it didn't feel, because she went with her mate. So it was yeah. like two guards going. So it wasn't like. Didn't have anything really to worry about. I hope. <laughs> sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. <laughs> so you didn't have to have a, a talk with Didn't, didn't any. have to have any talks or anything. That's he did. I says, we got listen, don't we get her black? Have you ever had a talk with a boyfriend coming on? Oh, have you? Yeah, oh, she brought. Do you, do you pull the the the, uh, the bad months. boys? Uh, Martin. It was. Do you know what? See the Browns. It was like friggin' bad boys because. My cousin Lloyd was there, yeah. just happened to be there at the same time. <laughs> and our Lloyd. Oh, he's a is big unit. A he's a unit. And, uh, and he's insane. Uh, <laughs> he's a maniac. Lloyd, it's, shout out Lloyd. Shout out Lloyd. So, um, this is the first time ever my girl has brought a fellow home. Mm. But she didn't bring him home. He was coming to pick her up, but he came to the door in order to collect her. And that's a good move. That's a good move. So the spark, the start was good. So me and Lloyd stand at the door. Lloyd's like about <laughs> eighteen stone, oh, built huge. like a like a fucking brick shit yeah, house. Dark skin black eh? Me, tall, light skin legend, 
And uh, this wee skinny white boy standing at the door like that. We're torn over him. <laughs> You're but he's still fan. I don't know. <laughs> chitty, chitty, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but no, he was, um, it was all right. But, uh, yeah, so it was different then, which was just when we were our mate. Yeah, so that's, what that's, what you like to, that's what you like to see. That's what you like to see, you know. Unless our mate's more than a mate. <laughs> You're just being blind, <laughs> <ain't it>? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Daddy, we're coming with our mates here. <laughs> ain't none of my watch. No, it's 2024. <laughs> but, uh, nah, I'm, I'm convinced it is, right? I actually uh, went to, I've got this wee agent now for uh, fracking. Yeah. Well, she okay. isn't actually. Back in the game? Back, back in the game. But she is an action agent. She's a legend, like, but she's. Like help me get an agent and stuff. She's helped me get set up and stuff. So she's me, helped me network with people. And uh, she texted me another day. And she's like, right, we're going to meet. He's like the head of theater in in the north, the north of Ireland, and uh, or Belfast or something or whatever. And uh, I said, I right, better try. I don't want to do theater. I told you, I just want to do film. I'm a screen actor. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, yeah, yeah, it's, but this is good networking. I swear, I I landed in this we. Uh, this we uh cafe sat down. They the, the double teamed me. There your mom was like, Yeah, you've got a great face. No, she said, You've got a great face for for, for the stage. And he's like, Yeah. Great face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the guy was like, Yeah, and I've watched you for your boxing career. You're born for the stage, it's born, you're so showman. You love performing in front of people. And I was sitting there going, I know what these bosses are doing. <laughs> and uh, and then they're like, We've got a few scripts you can maybe look at. I know you don't want to do theatre, but <laughs> there's a few scripts there that, I mean, you could just fall into. You wouldn't even need to try. They would probably be nice and they go, and I can see your I mom. I can see you. I can just press you go, oh, oh yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm sweating your mom. I can just see your mom going, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think, okay. And I, I was being so weird. Well, it wouldn't be weird. I was sweating it out going, fuck, they're just pretty just, weird. Like, they just sitting stage. there sweating. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, they were like, like, there's a 10 year anniversary laminated sandwich. You remember laminated sandwich? Yeah. But our good friend, Paddy Gall. The former guest. And George McManus and their career and, and uh, what they done. And they were like, it's 10 year anniversary coming up. I'd be, you'd be a shoe to play at. She would, you know, Paddy and say that. You're a boxer. You've acted. You're born for the stage. And I was like, sounds great. <laughs> and they were like, Listen, I like uh, I'm I'm nervous because I slur a lot because of boxing. I would I wouldn't be confident going on stage. And they're like that's perfect for boxing. And then they were like, uh, it's a one man show as well, so you don't need to rely on you, which is perfect. Like, oh, God. That's the worst news you can ever give <laughs> anyone. One man show. And then they were like, yeah, yeah, we'll sign the script. <laughs> there's no pressure. Both of them just starting. There's no pressure. <laughs> but uh, we'll send you the script and we'll see what you think. I tell you what, Tony, you are. So. I can just imagine you getting so awkward. Sounds <laughs> great. <laughs> Even like at that rave, a guy come up and was talking to us. And see, while well, he was talking, he was like, lads, love a podcast, no. But he was real, no, like talking with his hands. He's like, no, <laughs> right. you can, like, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, do you know what I mean? And because he was doing this, <laughs> throw him hand. Yes, man. Start shaking his hand. For no reason. It was Turn a bit, 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 bit calm when I started shaking the guy's hand. For no oh, reason. Bro, but you know what? It made the fans. The, the music was loud. And I do zone out when people are talking. So I thought he'd wrapped up his talk when he just wanted the handshake to say right away, lads. Yes, you, you're going to get talked into like every room um, because you're just not going to be able to say no to people. Uh, once he gets the red line, then but they'll be all right. So someone messaged me. He watches a podcast, obviously, about my uh, me selling the laptop. And he's like, here, I think he knows about where I am. And he, he tried to play on it. To so he said, what, what much is it? I said, it's, it's 13 on, on Gumtree at the minute. But look, since since you watch the podcast, I'll do it. I'm not going to. Get the first score. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to 100 off for you. 1,200. He's like, fuck here. What about this? And I think he's dead. He says, 50, 50 pound a month for the next 24 months. <laughs> I, say, I, was, I was ready to say, oh, I was ready to go, I right, go ahead. But it could have taken 50 could have never seen me again. Oh, no. I, was, I, I knew he was playing on it because he watches the fucking yeah. pot. He knows how easy I am to say you sit. But I stood up for myself well and done. said, no. Well, listen, 
I've got someone offering a lavender under on gum tree, so Barclays yeah. Finance. <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey and white finance. Uh, no, I think they get those. Like what do you need to do? But mm. you won't need to once you get the meds, but I was practicing it at the rave. Because like you say, people come up and just talk to you. Mm. They're so friendly, which is not a problem. But some before I started enjoying it, I didn't want to talk to anyone. So I was just trying to avoid eye contact with everyone. <laughs> and I was doing, see what somebody locked eyes on either straight over. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? It's such a weird <laughs> vibe. Oh, it's it? such a nice vibe. A nice vibe. Boop. But uh, yeah, Tyrone, speaking of your head solo show. So my solo show ended the month 27th of April. Up in the Rotties on the Glen Road, so tickets are only a tenner. So how is tired tickets go? Or like uh, it? Tickets are out, but there's no link. What's is how do you get tickets? In convenient, you have to go up to the Rotties reception. Oh really? Yeah. Tyson Ham. Tyson Ham. But I'm I'm gonna do something move. boxing style. I'm gonna go and get a load of tickets and drop them off to people. So. And how are you finding writing? Your first, like, you know, headline show? Your first um, headline set? To be honest, there were like, so it was 45 minutes. Uh, you you, you, said, to me, you said to me like six minutes ago, you were like, put me in for an hour. No. <laughs> like, because you felt ready to do it then. Yeah. So like, Are you 45 minutes? I'm doing 45 That's minutes. a long time. So. Long time. I was like, tr- like trying to go over, you know, like, because I'm compiling all the stuff that I've done in the one order, the, mm. the material that I have. And I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm well over 45 minutes. I need to shorten it down. So I'm going to try to shorten it down. It was 32 minutes. Is this all new model. shit you do? Or new and old. So you just mix it on? Yeah. Because the thing is, people, like I've said before, you could do comedy seven nights a week and it's going to be seven different crowds. So it's mm. fresh. But what like you've done Roddy's before, they've heard that set. The people are going to Roddy's. We've only done fifteen minutes. You know what I mean, the Roddy's, but they're going to go watch it again. Is that fifteen minutes going to be in it? And they're going to go higher and higher. Them Well, may, there might be some things because obviously the 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 greatest hits is like if you went to a friggin' Beyonce concert and she didn't sing all the single ladies. Happy days. Do you know what I mean? Happy fucking uh-huh. days. But if you went to if you went to a friggin' a Blur concert <laughs> and they didn't sing Happy, whatever you call it, <laughs> all the people. Is that even Blur? Parklife, yeah. Uh, Parklife, you'd be raising. So, <laughs> you, <laughs> fl- you fluked that song of Blur. You really, you don't need to hear some of that. I'm a big fan. <laughs> you do but, not have clue. Yeah, so there's a couple of the, the good ones. And uh, the last time I've done it, it was about five minutes. Talking about the pleasure boys, but the pleasure it was because it had just happened the week before, so it was relevant. I'm not going to talk about it mm. now. Pleasure boys, be it. Yeah, so, um, totally it. They're, they're coming back. Did you know? See, because um, Trey ran the boxing show and he had a, uh, mm. Ryan Curtis on Friday night, and I was emceeing it. Shout out Trey and shout out everybody who donated. They raised over 10 grand mm. for Ryan. So Rand's worth a tap now, we Rand's <laughs> <laughs> But no, the raised, and it was a brilliant event. But I was talking to the bouncers at the Devonies, and that was actually the third time the Pleasure Boys had been in the Devonies. So, the two wait, times before, so there's women walking about there that have had cocks in their hands and we don't know about it? No, no. <laughs> that, that was a thing. The first two times that they came, normal. it wasn't like that. It was normal. But that last time, the girls... And this is a bouncer who was working there. He said that was not supposed to happen. The girls rushed the stage. Everyone who was on the stage wasn't supposed to be there. They ran up. And what are you going to do if you're a foul? You're going to, mm. you're not going to stop them. So, you're not going to stop them. I guess you'd stop them. Uh, well, that's what I'm just quoting. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't shoot them. Out. Don't shoot it here. So that that was meant to happen that oh, really? time. That was that was the, the ladies okay. going off the off the script. That's what happens in, in the Davenish. Well, it's, it's called it, it, it didn't happen before. It's called a dirty dad for a reason. It, but it didn't happen two occasions before. That's true. But maybe it's just this new breed. Mm. New breed, a new generation. Listen, mm. girls just wanna have fun. It's in a song. 
But it's Madonna. Listen, I want to speak on something this week, and I feel cheated and robbed. Me and Tommy went to our second mini Olympic event. If you're keeping up to date on the, the Patreon, but our second event, and it was a, a food challenge, and I was absolutely fucking robbed on it. So listen, to this. I'm I'm a diehard. I watch a lot of the people eating loads of food during camp. So I, I'm well clued in the the techniques. And uh, <clears throat> we went down, and it was three patties of, of burgers, three layers of bacon, three layers of cheese, and then salad. And oh, that's in a burger. And you have to eat that in the quickest. The sauce was great too. The sauce was good, yeah, but. The quickest time was two minutes, 26 seconds. And it's John Zoo, shout out, previous guest on the show, friend of the show. But uh, he was, he was a, the, the champ. I was like, I can beat that. I can definitely fucking beat that. Because I'm a fast eater. Even though Tommy doesn't think I'm a fast eater. I'm a fast eater. No. You see, I'm not faster than me. Uh, listen, so clock goes boom and I start mauling this thing yeah. I'm ripping this part putting it in I take I dissect it all I'm ripping it all up and I'm drinking the water and swallowing like fuck flying for it and then I'm hearing the murmurs in the background Tyron's gonna beat the, the record Tyron's gonna yeah. beat the record I look at Tommy he has fucking ulcers left I was th- go ahead you talk about yeah. your game plan so I'm flying and then I hear them murmurs Tyron's gonna beat this record there's only a minute past and I f- I'm, I'm nearly done and I I get excited and I started shoving more and more in my mouth. And then I shoved too much in my mouth, I couldn't swallow, so I had to gag it up. And it wasn't sick, but it was food lying on my plate. And I looked and there's about 30 people or 20 people there. And I just went, I can't eat this. I look, I look disgusting. And me personally, would add it straight away, no sweat. But I was looking as like, my kids were around my missus. I was like, do I disgust them so much? And just mauled. And then I seen out of the corner of my eye, Tommy only had like, a bait left, and I went, ah, I'm not going to bait, he's only got a bait left, so he, he shoved that in his mouth, and then he went, like this. and I went, no, no, you have to finish your mouth, and I looked, and his mouth was fucking packed out, like, the full burger was in his mouth, basically, and I went, I can fucking beat him, and this was about 30 seconds of me just looking at the thing I, I chucked in my, fr- my mouth, and I went, fuck it, and I grabbed it, and I started mo- mo- <laughs> like a fucking disgusting man I was, but it was very competitive, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to win this. And I was doing my last wee piece of bacon, and he just swallowed. Well, listen. Is that not true? Not entirely. It is so, all true. Tyrone, you've had a week to concoct your friggin' <laughs> excuse. Yeah, hold on. you just see that's it. all I'm hearing. They have seen it. It was there. You've seen it. You've seen it. So this is what happened. It, you, it was a good plan that you had. You split the burger open, which... Could we look at his cheating? It's hardly cheating, it's eating it. Yeah, well, still. Um, How is that looked at as ma- cheating? Well, it's weird. That's what, you're supposed, burgers, that's what yeah. you're supposed to do. Okay, well, nonetheless, Henry, you've, as you say, you dissected the burger. I'm not sure if dissected is the right word, but you fling it all apart. My tactic was to take small bites around the edge. Mm, but it was slow. And, and you no, know, like just slow and steady wins the race. Well, I could see out of my peripheral vision that my cannon was just. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was just yamming. Nom, 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 nom. You just got invented the feet in your head? I was like, I hadn't, I hadn't, but I was going, my tag, like, this is my plan. I'm going to stick the game plan, but maybe it was wrong. And then, friggin', I could hear the murmurs too. Fuck, Toronto's flying. Hey, Toronto's going to beat this. I was like, what the hell? And I was really, really wanted to take a drink. But then I seen you taking a drink. So I was like, the drink slows him down. It's going to keep keep battling away. To keep chipping away, chipping away. And then I got the whole burger in my mouth. I thought that meant you won. That's why I went. Yeah. Yep. That's what threw me off. See, you doing that. Yeah. I thought you'd won. That's why I sat there for fucking an hour Would you, you thought that was a win? No. Had, right. Well, I... So obviously I was like a chipmunk with a friggin'... Do you ever say a hamster? Anyone ever have a hamster? Yeah. And then put some That's what you You had the whole burger in your mouth. Oh, like, I, I could have easy one. And then I could have, like, swallowed, like, chewed and chewed it and swallowed the burger, like, faster than what it did. But I thought it was one. 
And if I had swallowed, you know, this sounds so wrong. The, 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 the scrape in the burger sounds. So we had to just have hashtag no diddy. <laughs> if I had a, if I had swallowed a burger, I could have been in first place. But I thought it was one, so I slowed, slowed up a wee bit. But then when McKenna realized, when the mom went, no, you have to swallow, then he started fucking rushing, oh, eating man. sick. No, then he's sick. I don't like the fruit. It wasn't sick. <laughs> it was just chewed up burger. Chewed up burger that came out of my stomach. No, it wasn't there. It was in my mouth. I couldn't swallow. I was gagging. Uh, yeah. and, went, and then I just fucking threw it but, uh, The burger uh, was so great. Very exciting, but enjoyed it. Yeah. And our next one is actually a chess challenge. Yeah. So if, you're, if you are, continue to watch them on the Patreon. The next one is chess challenge. Me v Tommy. Um, our mates are running a chess tournament. Yeah. In the Garrick soon. I'm gonna say something as well. I really would love to win this chess challenge because me and Tony used to play chess You've online. Never beat me. Never beat him. Never beat me in his life. Never. I mean, I actually love chess, and I, we have played quite a lot. Like he's number one, and I guarantee this one he wins. Oh. I've I've picked this. I saw but I need the show. <laughs> I, I picked this. Out. I picked out a few things, saying these are bankers, and everything um. they've got beat. <laughs> Like, my we used to be up all night playing all night, chess. chess. What are you doing? <laughs> I've got him in check. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically uh, chess. Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to add. Do you know what? I'm going to download it to get a wee practice. Yeah, you need a wee, a wee few practice. Ones. That's on, I think it's next week. Next oh. week? Mm. So, get 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 Pe your. Uh, I'm not going to drink when I'm playing either. Get your face roll. People are Bobby usually Fisher. on playing Call of Duty. Well, no, I sure, like, oh, no. It's up for a week in my chest. We're not the actual. Uh, well, <laughs> I am. <laughs> I, still, I still do play. Uh -huh. I actually, back in Cod yesterday. Are uh, you? Uh, I've decided. I sort of told my family I'm going back to war. <laughs> and this, their dad's a hero. I need to be proud of me uh, again. So I'm back in the battlefield. Are you? I'm terrible. I'm so, so bad. Well, it has to be so done. no changes then from when you used to No. I'm actually, I actually started coaching this week with... Uh, which I'm excited about. The Comedians charity event coming up. What date's that on again? 20, I think it's 26th of June. So uh, something like that. I have announced that I'm emceeing it. No one's asked me to emcee it, but I am. So <laughs> so how's the training going now? Eh? Well, it's officially starting this Saturday, but last week we had uh, Sean Haggerty on. Um, so I was doing him in bags. He, he, he looks, looks flat. Um, he's fighting Shane Todd. What's interesting, I've been doing sets with Shane. Oh, how's he? How's he looking? Sharp. Sharp. <laughs> Sharp as I've, I've been trying to play main games with Shane. I think mean, he puts up, like he put up a early video of him doing pads with Sean. Terrible coach, man. Terrible. Uh, you, you deserve better. You don't know. You don't know what's going on. Hey, maybe this can, maybe this can be a wager. The, yeah, part of the thing. Who wins, Sean or Shane? Did you train Sean? I've been training Sean. hundred percent. But you're in? I'm in for a okay. hundred percent. Sean, I know Sean wins. Not a chance. He's got my, he's got my mm -hmm. IQ in the in the corner. Shane, he's won. Is look, 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 look at this. Shane, Shane's coach. He's going to be going to America next week. Big fight. I'm not going anywhere. You aren't the coach. I am Sean. training Shane. Sean. Next, we're having the intense camp the next four weeks. Fuck off. Intense the camp for you. Weeks. I'm sorry to tell you, Shane, but intense them is not intense for anywhere else. You're going to be going for fucking Isn't... 5k walks. Shane is going to bring the pain. No. <laughs> Who else is boxing up? Um, uh, Bruna. Bruna's you're fading. coaching Bruna, I think. Mm, well. I'm, I'm Bruna, yeah, yeah. She was actually was coming Saturday, but she didn't. Didn't, didn't weigh in. Didn't weigh in. Uh, but this Saturday is the official training. I've got one guy I'm training who's, who's a kickboxer. Do you know him? Connor? He's a comedian. Connor, what? He's a kickboxer? Mm. No, you don't oh, know. Oh, Connor Brannan? Yeah. Oh, you mean, uh, he's a uh, radio presenter on Q. So Who he's, is he? He's fighting Andrew. Oh, yeah, because like, Andrew, Andrew said to me, um, he's a danger scared who he's fighting. Aye, uh, so Connor used to be a kickboxer. I don't know where he still does it or not. No, I said he doesn't, but he hasn't even had a fight, really. He said just that he just it. trained in it. And I said, well, that's more than fucking most people do. But this, that show sold out again, didn't it? Uh, but Wait after Holland, the Nolder should have upscaled the venue. Do you think so? The Holland isn't big enough to, for the demand. 
They should have probably done half Odyssey. They could have sold half Odyssey. There's, there's many venues. Odyssey, Waterfront, Telegraph building. Friggin'. Could they do box and Telegraph building? Have Van Buys got um, R. Patrick, the coach? Yeah, me, oh, me, 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 me. But he's been away in Australia. I think he's, oh, he's home he now. Right, he's home with day. See the thing is. See, got to be sizing in this morning. See, to be honest here, all a lot of comedians, I want to name and shame, but all of them are mailed me for private lessons. So I don't think I have nothing to do all week. Right, to do everyone all single lessons. Like, not, not all of them, but a lot of them are saying, can we do Canadian action, Canadian actions? I have a life as well. Any yeah. of the arena comics charge them 40 quid a half. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but like Saturday, for the coaching, we're only supposed to do them one day a week. Saturday and then during the week everyone's supposed to do their own coach. Now, obviously I'm going to do Wednesdays and Saturdays to accommodate because everyone is asking for extra sessions. Well, I'm doing Shane Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, but that's his own training for you. Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> that's his own training. That's what the boxers should be doing their own training as well, I, think, I believe. But they all want me to just quit my, my life and become a coach. Do you know the... Is there all the fights out yet? Is the program made? I think, yeah. I think most of them are out. Paddy's out. Paddy's so Paddy we know for We know for a fact Shane Todd's winning because Evan calls him. Right? Shane Todd so. comes out next year and he's like, look, I had to get a new camp. <laughs> Shane Todd, the, the coach. thing is, Shane... So Shane and Sean... If you've got a camp with Tommy, it's going to be a disaster. 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 Disaster for Sean. That's yeah. every. Does Sean give him problems? Yeah. Um, problems. See the other thing as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You're laughing, Sean, but that's the most bad out thing to say in a boxing. Uh, like, hey, that's, that's just. Uh, everyone dude, says that every day. Take him in the comp. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Who's Bruno feeding? Uh, Diona. Diona. Which I don't know. I think that's weird that Sean and Diona aren't in the same like group. Because I ain't gonna see his head, so I'm gonna see where all day. Every there's day. a bit of, well, I suppose, you know, why it's probably to do with babysitting stuff. You can't get a babysitter, yeah. they got at least one of them to the kids. Well, I'm not sure secrets are kind of I know that's what I, 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 I feel it's, it's to be honest, I don't think the boxers are good enough to share secrets, like they won't know what they're looking at, really. <laughs> if, you also, know, if you know what I mean, like they won't, they won't have the. IQ to say, oh, you need to be doing this with her. Yeah. And she's not like, she's only got, they won't see that, they don't think. Um, Jazz, Jasmine Sir, she's training in Trave also. She's fighting Claire Corrigan. Is she in my team? I don't know who's don't in my know. team. I don't know. There's some Must that aren't. There's some that have done their own flank. thing. I think Con Gattis and the guy he's fighting have Con Gattis fighting, is training with Connor, Connor Cummins. 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 And then I think oh, your other man's training with someone else. It's Mickey, Mickey Bartlett he's fighting this? No, no, Ro, 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 Oh, he's fighting Ro, Ro, Ro Boy, that's right. Yeah. Well, he fought your brother Ronan. last time, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. He, yeah, he's a big man. Ronan's dangerous. Mm, he's a big guy, oh, a big I'd, country foul. It's our Paddy and Mickey. Mickey yeah. Friend, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's a good fight. That's probably the biggest fight on it. Well, what is Top of Bill? I heard it's Colin Gattis. Well, I was, I was speaking to Iona, to Iona, and I said, look, there's no real Top of Bill, but because they're the heaviest, they're going to be the last. But I don't know. I, there's there's three Top of Bills there. Well, Colin Gattis... Is a huge name, mm. so and they are big, big lads. You do want to see the yeah. big guys, and Ronan is an experienced fighter, so it'll be a good fight because I'm calm. I am fighter, you know. Yeah, yeah. so, so it, I remember it does, seeing it probably does deserve to be somebody put up a throwback, and it was Mickey Bartlett, was it Mickey on Shane Todd's podcast saying if Colin Gaddis hit someone, there's a real chance that they'll die. <laughs> 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 so. We're looking at two heavy hitters, top of the bill. There may if he dies, he dies, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, I'm excited also for... Also, we had James McCagney been in training, and that's all fatal. We've never done any boxing before. You kill her? Took that like a Why, top why are you training all these different people? Because Sean's a wave. Oh, so you're taking over for Sean? Until Sean comes back. So you're being used? No, they're, well, they're well, using Well, you're me. MC, you're MC. Uh, um, and then we had uh, Sean Magaliba. He came and done one session. But then he's away. He's taking a fight serious. He's away to Thailand for, for, for two months. <laughs> Is he really? For training just? No, he's away traveling. Right. That's all right. But, uh, yeah. 
Who else? Who else? It's all <laughs> Shane's on it, Paddy's on it, Gareth's on it. Mickey Bartlett. Mickey Bartlett. There uh, are the four big names, aren't there? In the six Northern big Irish comedy. Sean Haggerty. Um, Andrew Ryan and so Andrew, Andrew Ryan, Ryan, big name. You train that's who, he. No, I'm fighting. And You're training, training Connor. Connor's the so oh, so they're both from Q Radio. Yeah, and they're, that's so they're I, two co-hosts. Okay, that's that's good. So I'll be. I like, a, I like it. I like it. I'll be vicious. And then Doc, I can't see, and I, I don't want no disrespect to Andrew Ryan. I can't see him being a good boxer. What are you talking about? He's frigging from Cork. He's Cork, from Cork. Cork. <laughs> that's true, he is from Cork. The Rebel County. He oh, is right. from Cork. I, I forgot about that. That little bit of uh, information. but I don't think he's for a punch in his life. Yeah, he just doesn't scream. I don't know. He's, he, he's, a, he's a complainer. Like, he, he loves complaining about stuff. and like He just, he just doesn't seem like he's a... A man who likes to let his hands but, uh, go. Uh, you know, when, the, like when, you say, when, when there's confrontation, he likes to talk. He likes to talk his way out of it. From is what I'm trying to say. In my experience being in Andy Ryan's company, he's not afraid to speak. So somebody who's conf- confident enough to Slab speak him. up, yeah. you know that they've uh, got they've got the hands. He may got the, he may got that dog in him. Yeah, I'm, I think he I'm, does. I'm, I'm shit scared to talk up to anyone, but <laughs> I love fighting. I don't know. See, every time you, are, you talk later, fight and I talk later. <laughs> fight and I talk later. <laughs> every time I ask Andrew about his chances, he's like, "Look, we're raising money for the kids." <laughs> that's a that's a uh, Andrew Ryan uh, answer. But you know what is the biggest feat of the week this week? Well, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the debut, but the hardest geezer. Oh yeah! What a guy! I've been, I've been following from the very start of his journey, and he he ran the whole of fucking Africa in in a year or no, on, under a year. No, no, perfect. You mean it? But but listen, listen, <laughs> listen come back to me when he <laughs> does some <laughs> marathon. <laughs> marathon. He's doing over a marathon a day every day. Well, he's done a marathon over a marathon a day every day for the last year. He's he's ran through. Jungles, he's got kidnapped. Across the desert. Yeah, he? he got kidnapped. He's, he's fucking, like, had all sorts of how get How did he get freed? I, I, I don't know what happens. Just well, kept running. He, he, I he, just he got, kept he got, running. He got put on a, in a bag of van, drove away. But uh, every day. And it, Sounds I, like a cheating to me. No, he no, oh, I've got a few mates to go, oh, I get kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they told me 26 miles of our own. They drove him backwards. But anyway. The fucking bad, like, see, Trump McCall, he, for a charity he done for Christmas, he was doing 20k a day for 20 days, and he had to stop. He had to stop after eight or nine days. He said his legs were fucked. So imagine doing a marathon over a marathon, it's a marathon and a half a day for every day and of it, the year. It's, it's not all like, clean roads, it's like it's bad roads, African it's roads. roasting as well. Like, yeah. and then there's days where he's, he's practically. Vomiting and shitting, but he was still running. Like he was just going to say, yeah. He also and... like he couldn't. Did he run... raise money for Sahara? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, he couldn't it's run just... straight through the Sahara. He had to go right round. round. So he had to go the longest round. way. It was like a, it was like the coast up, right up the coast, and finished in Tunisia. But it was a serious. What gave him the? I don't know. He's a maniac. First, 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 first person to do it. First person ever do it. Uh, and do you reckon it'd be the last or it'll be a trend eh? I, no, I think people will start doing that. Do you? I, I think people will keep attempting it. It'll, mm. it'll take a while before somebody does it. I don't I know how I don't, like, I don't know how his body let him do it. And I don't know how he had enough. Because see, doing a marathon, you do a lot of eating. Yeah. I don't know how he had enough to do a marathon and a half a day, every day. See, people with their jobs, they can do anything. <laughs> Fuck me, you're <laughs> way, <laughs> Dolly. You just can't even run up the street. Just sitting there, going, I'm going to go run to Africa one day. That's <laughs> 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 used to. Say that all. Dolly, for fuck's sake. Uh, uh, but I just, I can't believe it, he's done it. And yeah. the, there, was, there, there, was, there was obstacles. Like, there was one time where he, he, I forget where he was trying to get into, but he wasn't allowed a visa. But uh, because, because he was a, uh, so popular, everyone just got on the embassy, like fuck, and then the grant with a visa on the spot. So, do you know what he should do? Take a take a break. No, have a bath. Go and chill. Ca- um, try and run all the continents. So he's done Africa. This mm. is the biggest one. Yeah, I think, I think the biggest Europe. one would be going from, say, Spain to Asia would be the longest one one track we're going to. Well, boat. Tehran, that does cross two continents. If he does runs through Europe, when well, then he's can't can't complete that one, take a wee break, and then run through Asia. Tommy, 
You can't even run up the fucking Suffolk Road. I'm not. I'm not claiming it, and I can't. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> I uh, just don't want to. But uh, that would be a good thing if he runs across mm. South America, North America. Because Africa is the that would, hardest one. That's the where I, one. he's where I got that uh, the idea for one of our mini Olympics of being he done for every male he down the bottle of beer and he done twenty. Is that him? Yeah, uh, he done twenty males. He done twenty bottles of beer. He's sick of all. But I was saying for Two our beer, our yeah, our competition, we do one lap of the track down a beer. Do that eight times. Eight beers, eight. You can run off. Mary Peter's track. Yeah, he box a beer on the track. You get chased off on it. For fuck's sake, they hit you. I don't know. But we've talked enough shit this week. Yeah. Tommy. So, yeah. I'm a raver now. Ladies and gentlemen, any more raves going on? Mm. There's one next month. Is R- there? Richie Blackers. Get me tickets for it. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> Seems we have to, yeah, go, we to go all the time. But <laughs> make sure to tune in to Patreon yeah. where we are doing the Mini Olympics. We've got two videos coming up today yeah. on it. Um, and we've actually got the rave. The rave yeah, it's out my, uh, what would we say, a summary of Tommy's first yeah, rave it was actually, on the Patreon. And it's, actually, long. it's a fucking laugh of a wee video. Yeah, that's funny. Um, and but, if you want to um, sponsor the show, Get in contact. Yep. As Tyrone said last week, don't bother messaging him. Mm. Message me. And do it. And if you wanna, if you don't even wanna sponsor, if sponsor, you wanna donate to the show, <laughs> send me PayPal. <laughs> Mechanatailhotmail.co.uk. <laughs> and uh, get out there, Diane, the 19th. See the 19th. Tommy MC in. Yep. And uh, 27th of April. Okay. First headline show. Yep. Like, subscribe, share, and yeah, that's it. See you next week. Boom.